In the coming days, we should have another Inside Infinite update talking about what brings Zeta Halo to life, what to expect, and what 343 needs to do to make this blog a little bit more interesting than the last one. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. But as this is the last week of February, this means that we should be seeing a Inside Infinite blog update coming in at least the next this week or maybe next week sometime very soon. And this upcoming blog update is going to be talking about what brings Zeta Halo to life. Now this could mean multiple things. This could be just about the environment and the environmental artists that are going into this, which they touched on a little bit in the sandbox development update back in January. But I think this might kind of go into a little bit more of gameplay elements as well. Specifically talking about how the environment interacts with the player. They seem to put a big emphasis on the January update. We're talking about the different types of terrain and how these different types of vehicles that they'll be putting in the sandbox will be added into Halo Infinite. What if from the January update saying early on I made the promise to these teams that if we made awesome looking environments we'd make vehicles able to traverse them. Now obviously there needs to be a little bit of back and forth when it comes to creating these environments as obviously you can't just put every Everything is like really rocky terrain with no pathing at all, making it so then something like a warhog or like a mongoose, it would have some struggles trying to traverse all that stuff, which looks like they did a pretty good job with that from the gameplay demo of creating these kind of pathing lanes that you can drive through. With this coming update, I think we'll see a bit more of the environments that we'll see within Halo Infinite. All we've really seen so far is just woodland areas with these really tall metal pillars everywhere. They did specifically from the last development update saying, Going over an area covered in rocky crags and fallen trees, the Warhog with its high ride height and large tires will eat it up. Going over a flat marsh covered with pockets of water, the anti-grav of the ghost will let you smoothly boost through it. Like in a canyon trying to get to a base, the Banshee makes a quick up and over. So this does actually reveal a new kind of environment that we haven't seen yet is a marshy kind of area. Uh, I would also suspect to see probably some more tundra kind of areas, some more snowy areas as well. As just from the announcement trailer, we did see like a snowy kind of look to the Halo ring as well. So and we've seen this previously in other installations, so I would highly suspect to see something like that as well. How that plays within the environments, it's left to be seen. Hopefully in this development update, we'll get a little bit more introduced Introduced into that stuff. I would also like to see it be a little bit more of a factor within the world of how you traverse the area. As in, for example, when you played Halo, have the environments really changed up your gameplay in any sort of way? Have they slowed you down or made it more difficult to, to traverse? Not necessarily. Uh, I, remember, I think specifically of Halo 3, right? First start off, the first mission you're kind of like this wooded jungle area and then on towards the last mission you're on the snowy forerunner installation of installation zero zero and it doesn't really slow you down or interact with you in any other way other than just being white and fluffy and this kind of transitions me into my next point talking about the gameplay elements that they'll be talking about here i would like to see maybe the environments be more interactive with the player have a player make some interactive thoughts with the environment rather than just being like oh this looks like snow this looks like desert this looks like woodland uh have that play out a little different have maybe some different kind of weaponry or some kind of new gameplay mechanics to make the environments more than just like a dressing or just like a coating but something that's actually more interactive with the world another aspect to bring zeta halo to life would certainly be well the life on this ring as well you guys definitely sure remember from the announcement trailer we saw a big emphasis on wildlife within halo infinite after that announcement we haven't seen anything involving wildlife whatsoever how are they gonna play within halo infinite are they just gonna be kind of like you know something that just kind of runs around the background to make it seem like it's more alive than it really is well you have to scavenge for things like you do in like far cry in halo that would be kind of interesting what kind of gameplay elements will help make this world feel alive so take for example the game destiny they have these live events that happen within the open-ish kind of worlds that they have in the game 
which kind of really helps make the gameplay much more dynamic and interesting to play where you can just be playing along and all of a sudden an event pops up completely changes your objective and you go off and play that kind of thing and just really makes the environment much more interesting to jump into rather than being a stagnant thing that is the exact same thing every single time. This excerpt from the December update for Halo Infinite from Joseph Staten really kind of plays in with that idea of possible live events or something that makes the world seem more interactive. Staten in here saying, Do I explore off the Golden Path? Assault that banished war base guarding the Valley Pass? Follow a flight of Forerunner Sentinels into an unexpected cavern? Rescue a squad of Marines dug in and desperate halfway up a mountain? Or do I keep pulling the mainline story thread that feels epic and intimate at the exact same time? To me, this kind of sounds like something like live events, maybe not such a grand scale like we have in Destiny, but something that just kind of happens randomly as you're playing, so then it kind of keeps the gameplay interesting while you're going from A to B. Uh, I'd much rather have that kind of stuff happen rather than all these different things that Joseph Staten mentioned being something that's more just like an actual like side mission that you go over to, like there's a marker on the map that you go find. I would like to see these kind of things happen just naturally within the world that kind of just take you off the path where we might go like, hey, what's going on over there? I don't know what's going on. Let's go check it out. That's what the follow a flight of Forerunner Sentinels kind of seems like to me. Like there's be something that'd be kind of difficult to script in or have like as a mission you go activate. Seems like more of an interactive kind of thing that you would find while playing the game. And also what I want to touch on is the blog itself. Uh, from December, we actually got a lot of great insight when it comes to the content that's in the game. We had a lot of great screenshots, new environments we haven't seen yet. But then when the January update came around, it was really kind of bland at first. And it really took me deep diving into that blog to really kind of get the aspect of the scope of what they're talking about and all the interesting aspects of Halo Infinite that I mentioned because that last January update was actually really huge. It had a lot of content. I had to break up to like about six different videos on this channel so then I could fully break down everything because there's a lot there. But at first glance, it seemed kind of bland because there really wasn't much in the way of content showcased within this. There was a new piece of concept art that was shared, which is cool, and some new images of weapons that we've already seen these type of screenshots before. I would love to see some new kind of screenshot, maybe kind of hinting at something, get us thinking more about what is going to be coming in the Halo Infinite rather than what we had previously in the January update. It was really straightforward and again also very high level, which this will also be very high level as well because they don't want to tie themselves down to specific gameplay mechanics as the game is still very much in development and a lot is still subject to change. But maybe show us like what that path of Sentinels looks like, how that Marines locked up on the mountain ridge would play out at, like in this blog update. That's what I would really like to know about. And the general philosophy of how they're going to keep the environments of Halo Infinite very exciting and new every time you jump in and play rather than just being the same thing every time. Adding in a ton of replayability because we're pretty much going to be paying 60 bucks for a campaign for what we know so far far because the multiplayer is going to be free to play. So how is this campaign going to hold a $60 price tag? That's something that 343 is going to really have to showcase a lot when it comes to the campaign gameplay of Halo Infinite. But until we get that blog update, we'll just have to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to catch when the video does go live. If you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.